hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in I hope you're doing all fine so before we start as usual I'm not a financial advisor and all the content and information in this video is my own opinion and my own market observation so let's dive here into the daily chart we had this morning this monster week to the downside we reached almost 6k and this is just insane of course we were expecting a correction but i was uh, pretty sure that we would break out to the upside from this ascending triangle here and uh, yeah it happened the opposite we broke here the support uh, at this line and since then we just had a big dump here almost to, down to 6k even below the 20 daily moving average but you see that the price got rejected down here that means that the bulls were too strong to keep the price uh, down here so we bounced immediately back up although if we do here a fibonacci retracement from the bottom be before of this uh, pump uh, till the top here at 8400 you can see that we bounced exactly here at the 0.618 Fibonacci line at 6150 so probably there were a lot of uh, bots trading and uh, buy orders uh, settled exactly at this uh, price point here so the price went up immediately so also if you look here at the futures gaps um, you can see that we came to close this candle here but we would need to close today the full body candle down here to to close this candle completely so we need a full body candle to close this gap and in my opinion we will close it maybe today but maybe also later on but it looks like that maybe today we're gonna have a red day um, everything is uh, dropping uh, a few percentages especially altcoins now are retracing back down also because Bitcoin have this major dump right now so that is normal and I think also if we close this gap now and then continue to move further on that is very bullish so so it was expected I told you in, in the last few videos that um, we will retrace to 6k just even just only to close this gap here and the sooner we do it the, the better it is but i was expecting the price to go first at least to 10k or to test at least the 9.5k uh, but it looks like that we are already on the way to close this gap maybe we have another green candle before we close it uh, but uh, it would be good if today we're gonna close here uh, below 6300 so that we can go further on to the upside um, right now everything is still bullish for me even if we have this correction I mean corrections we it happens all the time so uh, it is good that we just uh, that we just don't go straight up I also were telling you uh, that you should wait to buy in right now in this area wait for a big dump wait for a correction to at least 6k to close the gap and when everyone is shouting again that uh, probably we're gonna go below 6k again or something like this then um, that's the point where you should uh, buy in again i also didn't take profits up here because uh, as i told you i was waiting for 10k to take some little profits but uh, um, here in the 8k area for me it wasn't necessary to take out profits to buy back in at 6k so the risk was too high for me uh, to miss out if we go to 10k or higher so i'm still in um, I have some still I'm in profit but uh, of course uh, I will not take it out right now I just wait the gap to be filled here in the futures gaps at, at around 6k and as soon as this one is filled um, the price will go hopefully uh, back up to the upside also you see that um, um, when we gonna close this gap uh, at 6100 this will be around uh, somewhere around here at the previous resistance which is now acting as support so i believe that the price will stop here when we close uh, or at least um, should hold here the 50 daily moving average here at 5500 so if we have a bigger drop maybe this is uh, this area you have to watch here between 6100 and uh, 5500 i don't think that we're gonna retest down here the 200 daily moving average at 4400 with this move but uh, in in the case that we would go down here i would uh, buy back in here at 4400 if you have some fiat on the side latest at this point down here all right so let's 
gonna have a look here at the longs and shorts so you can see with this move here some longs got liquidated or stopped out or they just closed their orders so you can see a decline here in the longs uh, not a big decline so we're still quite high in the shorts I'm sorry in the longs and the shorts uh, slightly are picking up but um, um, nothing serious right now so everything is just uh, neutral at this moment uh, we have to see what uh, what today's close will be so during the day we maybe see some attempts again to break back into the channel here into this triangle so maybe we have a retest of 78 7900 today or tomorrow but I believe that uh, we're gonna have to close at least a, a day here below 6200 to continue to go further up this would be the most uh, bullish scenario because this gap have to be closed um, yeah this is what I'm watching right now so let's go um, to the smaller time frames to just have a look if we can see something here all right so here we have the one hour chart you can see that this happened like in within an hour or even less uh, this major dump and then we push back up so in the one hour of course right now we are uh, oversold here in, in the stochastic and also in the RSI so this looks quite uh, good for the next couple of hours we should um, see maybe a retest here of the 78 7900 in the four hours the same thing uh, stochastic oversold and the RSI size below 50 so um, it would be very healthy now to go and retest here the 700 and then maybe we have another rejection and and go and close the gap uh, at the end of the day daily chart also shifted now to the downside from the overbought territory so this is healthy probably we're gonna bounce here at the 50 line in the RSI so it will be very good if today we're gonna close this gap and bounce from the 50 so that we can go straight up again to overbought territory with uh, another push to the upside in the weekly still didn't change much of course and in the monthly also we have to wait um, today's friday so we have to wait till uh, sunday what's gonna happen so it would be very very good if today we're gonna we're gonna close this gap and then move on to the upside again and and not continue uh, the correction or the dump uh, to the downside all right guys with that said i'm gonna wrap it up i hope you're in a good trade and see you all in the next one bye